Welcome to my No Man's Sky permadeath series and here we are guys we're up on the bridge of my freighter what I want to do in this part is go looking for a hot planet and which I can access via a portal so that I can complete the, my, the project I started in the last part with the atmospheric mining and what I'd like to say big thank you for your comments and feedback yes Sabatsu you are perfectly correct that I need to really work on building up my farming. I've been doing that. I ho hopefully when we get back after finding the planet, I'll have a chance to sh give you guys a bit of a tour of my base. And also thank you to Phil Silvers about my, uh, his suggestion for mining uh, advanced sentinels. I'm, I'll probably give that a go just for the fun of it. And wow, what can we say guys? But before I actually start traveling on out to finding another Gek planet, and it's going to be a hot planet this time because we're going to go after sulfurine. I, if you watched the last part, you will be aware that I was having a problem with my ship swapping. And I actually got to the bottom of it. And what it is, is that when you travel through a portal, the game immediately looks for the nearest ship. And if, it, if your freighter's in the same system like it was when I was making that video, it detects a ship up on the freighter and says, this is your next ship. I suppose it's a safety check so that you don't get stranded in a system without a ship if you if you actually travel through a portal to somewhere where you have a base or a ship and of course what happened is when I travel back the ship that it is selected off the freighter, freighter then becomes your default ship and that explains for why when I was traveling backwards and forwards through a portal I was getting the random ships taken from the freighter so if you don't want that to happen make sure that you don't leave the freighter in the system that you were you were traveling to by put by portal right so what we're going to do now is just go in here i'm in my home system so i'm not too worried about like i would if i was traveling towards the center of the galaxy i'm just looking for a suitable kick system that will have lots of planets oh yeah this might work and again distance isn't important got a failing economy yeah, but we're not going to be actually being able to trade in this economy eventually because once the portal's been set up, uh, the only way I'm going to be visiting the system is via the portal. So I don't think I need to be so paranoid like I was last time. I think I was trying a bit too hard. I'm going to be a bit more relaxed in this part. So I'm just going to come up here, jump in here. I just want to go down the quick way. And of course, this is where I actually check all the planets out and find I don't have a hot. I think like it's a hot or a barren planet. But of course, what we will do is actually check out the the space station before we do it. So I'm just going to jump in here, uh, save, and just gonna fly out. And there's the space station does not look encouraging so we have lots and lots of cold planets over there ah oh, there's cactus flesh that's a hot planet that could that would do it and that i think cactus flesh counts as a hot planet isn't it okay so we might be okay right uh, gonna go up here i think i'll do this is actually ask for directions whilst we're up here as well now the other thing I will talk a little bit about is I mentioned it in the last part as well is all the hype it seems waking titans woken up and <laughs> to be honest I suppose I've got a question guys do any of you actually know what the heck is actually going on with waking titan and all that because I am getting completely confused over what exactly is going on I've, I've watched a couple of videos and they talk about development kits I, I just don't know whether people have got so much on the hype train now that they're, they're you know, I'm starting to wonder what is actually fact and what is fiction now. So, so I may actually just give up on Waking Titan. Uh, obviously, I haven't subscribed to any of the things that are going on. It's got Infra Knife. Oh, wow. Wow, we're certainly coming back for that. In fact, I might even make a special trip for that so I don't forget. Right, we're going to have to go to the freighter to actually get the necessary nanites. Some people forgot. Right, I'm, I'm sorry about this, guys, but I'm not passing up that. 
that's one of the texts that I've got missing. And I'm afraid it couldn't be any closer if I wanted to anyway, so I mean it would be ridiculous not to take advantage of that, so just gonna shoot into the freighter. Yeah, that's the missing shield. Which I was starting to think that it wasn't around anymore, but obviously it is. So So we're certainly gonna have that. So I'm just going to jump in here. And right there. Uh, and we've got 360 there. We've got just enough. So that can drop in there. I'm going to have to work on getting some more nanites. Make sure I've got enough. Four. Should be just enough. If not, we're going to be going on a nanite hunt. Wow, that looks an interesting ship as well. And of course, he's flown off way. How did I know that would happen? Okay, here we go, guys. Technology merchant, Mr. Geckman. There's 360 nanites. Yes. And that should fit very, very nicely here. Yeah, but going to need emerald. Yeah, well, I've got loads of emerald on the freighter. But that will give me my final missing shield here, so I have all levels of shielding on this ship. Great, thank you. I'm made up with that. It's worth actually coming here for that. I don't care if I don't even find it. It's, it's despair, bolt, multi tool, storage, technology, resource. Okay. Images of warriors, battle freighters, shock trainers, screens, life forms. Okay. I think we'll open the vault, see if we can get. You never know, we might get a new multi tool. Bound to be a load of rubbish. 23 slot B class. Yeah, well, uh, I think you can keep that. Thank you. Off it. Barter. Oh, we'll get some. Thank you. Word of the language. I want. Ask for directions, that's what I want. Thank you. To a place of interest. You have to get word for peaceful. Operations center detected. And of course we're gonna go over and check the missions before we go anywhere. Just keep grabbing the missions. I've been neglecting the missions a little bit. I've been working very, very hard on the base. And again, if, apologies if my voice sounds a bit rough. I actually had to, well, take some t little bit of time off that's why probably my these videos are not going to be published according to my normal schedule uh, I actually had to take the break of nearly a day uh, and I did virtually nothing on well nothing at all not just on uh, uh, a recording also nothing at work actually uh, although I, I do have the advantage of because I do work from home uh, I was able to do Look, because part of my job actually involves quite large quantities of reading of reports and stuff like that. Pretty boring stuff. And one of the advantages when you're not feeling particularly very, very well is that you can actually do that while you're actually in bed. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you guys are not particularly that interested in that. So, well, we've got lots and lots of advanced sentinels. So I might use uh, Bill Silver's suggestion about to actually use a... Uh, but bait resource base or something. I can't remember what, what he said now actually Let's go this way oh, That's a bounty ship again okay. That's the one That's fungal mold 
Wait, I was looking at a. It said that this was a cactus plant. There was a hot planet here. Wow, look at that. Pretzel asteroid. Let's see if I can find it, guys. Uh, I'll be right back once I've actually found it. Oh, it looks like we're going to get into a, a battle. Obviously, the bounty ship is attacking. Wait. You're attacking my freighter. Okay, thank you. Pack it my freighter like that. There we are. There's the cactus plant planet. Right, that's it. Right, this is where we're gonna go guys. So here we go, we're going to Aski Ishimishi. Yeah. So here we are guys, we're coming down on the this planet. So there's like some lakes just tucked in here. And what we're gonna do is the usual routine. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a base. Actually now I've got loads and loads of plutonium. Let's try and speed this along a bit. Yeah. So I think we're just going to land here. Oh, got some creatures here. Yeah, so this is a, oh, this is a barren planet, so this, this is going to be just as good. Of course, yeah, it's a cactus planet. Okay. Right. Grab these. Hello, creature. I'm just gonna, I don't want that. I want the signal booster. Pretty weird looking creature there. Hey. Hey. Certainly a lot of creatures here, we want to scan them while we're at it. It's the signal booster. <laughs> okay. Right, let's get this done. Or oh, something else creeps up on me. Or some shield missing on for a planet like this, and we can need a monolith. Searching for ancient artifacts. So well, at least the monolith, monolith is actually on the planet. It's going to tidy it up. Don't want to leave our trash around. Uh. Scan as much as we can. Bird-like dinosaur creature down here somewhere. So that's another one that's there. Is it? So let's just jump into the ship. We're going to do the thrusters. And where is the monolith? There. Only 21 seconds away. I suppose I could have walked there, but. Been a little bit impatient. And I also had a thought, I mean, I don't know if it's something because the, the problem with the portal error, I actually double checked the coordinates and I was just definitely getting the same coordinates from the same portals. I actually double checked that when I, because I, I think somebody suggested that I was putting in the wrong uh, portal address and I actually double checked it and it was the correct portal address oh great got the kick word for alluring okay and 
that was correct and I do wonder whether the fact that I, I complicated the problem by opening two portals on the same planet I don't know if that actually does it like a port port locate a portal that's exactly what I want okay yes yeah, so I'm, I'm not sure if that uh, will cause the problem as well again then if you guys have got the insights or because as somebody quite rightly pointed out portal should actually have a address based on its position on in the the planet numbering within the system so like the planet I think it's the planet nearest the center is zero and then go out that way so that's something else that either that or if it's a small system I know there's inconsistencies with moons but unfortunately there seems to be a very great shortage of information on how that numbering system works in fact there's a bit of a conflict actually on the, um, no thank you in the sense that depending on the video if you watch anything anyone talking about portals and this is again it's a very key tip guys if you, if you, if you see anyone out there on the internet talking about portals pay attention to when person actually wrote the article produced the video simple because if it's anything pre um, 2017 they may they, they're talking about early releases and the whole system changed because obviously the, the, what I've just used to find a portal didn't happen before the Atlas update the using the signal signal generator to find a portal uh, or to find a monolith and then find a portal was very much introduced with the Atlas update. So there's a kind of bit of a warning there, guys. Don't be a bit careful when you read the information because some of it is, I wouldn't say wrong, it's just out of date. I, I know this is a hazard of if you do anything on the internet related to games now because it, you know, whether something's maintained or not, well, that doesn't look encouraging. Oh no, you're a grazing creature. Okay, where's the portal gone? I'm a bit far away from the portal, so I'm gonna grab here. Oh, I'm gonna go into you guys. Got all you, okay. Of course, what I am gonna do is, did last time, I'm just gonna drop a uh, back down. Thank you, hello, mister. Open this all up again. Got some titanium. Ah, I think we're. I've oh, got some iridium. Ah, I think I've got, I'm a bit low on thamium, so I think what I might do is use carbon. Ah, I don't want to use my iron. Loads of zinc still. I can buy zinc. So I'm just going to grab this. Gonna throw in a bit of plutonium. Yeah, you can see how much zinc I've got here. Ah. I can always stock up on iridium. Iridium is quite easy to find. Ah. Thank you. Ah. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Ah. Ah. And a bit more. And what we're going to do now is. Of course, I'm going to have to write this down. Right to make portal. Oh, no. What am I doing? That uh, leave. And it's, this is what I was saying, guys, is having two active portals in the same system may cause that conflict. Uh, request portals address. So... What have we got here? We got. I was right. I'm just going to write this down again, guys. So. Right, guys. I think I've got the correct address written down. We're just going to find out. So, just going to destroy Sentinel quads. Okay, thank you. I'm just going to go and get in the ship before the weather comes in too hard. And so, what we're going to do is get back to here.
in. Wow. I need to get out of here quickly. My. Wow, that was, that was dropping pretty quickly. Uh, my shield protection. Yep, yeah, thank you. Wow, that went down very, very quickly. Just top that up. And I'm just going to top the thrusters up again. Right. And what we do is get back to the. Well, the first thing we're going to do is get up into space. And. Yeah. Um, not interested in you. I've got things to do. Right, we're going to get back to the space station and obviously we're going to teleport back to our base. Okay, guys, we got. This is not a sociable system. Okay. Wait. Wow, okay. Obviously, this is not the friendliest of systems. I'm getting beaten up quite badly here. I can't get a bead on these guys. Okay. Yeah. And four of them, okay. Ah, great. We're definitely going to need the improved shield. I think this improved shielding is good. Okay, four, four on the one. Another one coming in. Hey, cut it out. Hey. Uh, I got far too relaxed here. I've been far too complacent. Okay, let's get back here. Yeah, that was... i definitely going to need the extra shielding, aren't I? Okay. <laughs> that could have been the end of my series. Um, yep. Definitely way too relaxed about that. That was... Right, so... I'm definitely going to do something about that, guys. Let's get in on the freighter. I've got loads and loads of emerald. Build a selector enhancement feature, yes, I've got the emerald on here, so. And, right, let's get to the freighter. Yeah, as you can see, I've got so much emerald. I don't really have, in fact, I'll take the emerald with me, I think. And, right, so what we're going to do is move the copper, because, and what that should do is, gets my shield absorbing up to 1.7. Not that particularly that good though, is it? I suppose it's it's going to make itself. Now I've got max shields. I think we're going to take the copper with, uh, with me. I think... Oh, now I've got... Because no. I have started bringing some of these elements down to, to my base because obviously we or need some of those elements for some of the more advanced elements of the base, so right. Back out. And I'm just gonna get into here guys. Oh, of course I've collected all the carbon here. So and of course we're gonna go back to our base. So here we are, and the first thing I want to do is get out here, and we should be able to s summon our 
freighter. Yeah, shouldn't I? Yeah. My freighter into low earth all wet. It's a bit highlighted there. Right guys, seeing we're back on my base, I'm just going to give you a quick tour of some of the issues. Now if you watched the last part, my ship was actually under here and I couldn't take off. And what has, seems to happen is the positioning of the ship relates to the mass of the base. And what I've actually done is I've put this series of cuboids in here. And that's actually pushed the ship away from the side of the base. So I've been able to rebuild this area here. And just to give you the, give you the tour guys. And I think what I will do is I've taken Sabatsu's advice. And I've really pushed up my frost crystal production. I think I've got about 40 odd now. So I'm just going to pick up them. And I've rearranged them there. I'll keep, probably keep adding to them eventually because what I want to do is get focus my farming back around living glass and then the necessary resources to develop the advanced manufacturing over time. So, so this is going to be a base that's going to be in constant change. I think I, I don't, I'll just do one side, guys. I don't want to bore you guys with actually lots and lots of. Here. I'm, I'm pretty close to getting the main structure finished now and I think if I get into here and come in here we can ah there we got four and the other thing I've also done is I actually found a trading station that actually uh, sold car light sheets so that external modification actually spins back to a comment from Bill Silvers in the fact that he said that it's better to have the vaults on the inside. Well, in fact, technically now, some of my vaults are now on the inside and it's only at this end here where they actually stick out. And if I come up a floor now, you will see here, I've now started to lay out my farming on this area. And you can see here, I've started laying out all these areas here. But quick tip here guys see the roofs of the vaults here if I show you here with the plants it you cannot put planters on top of vaults so if you're designing a base you need to compensate from that now if this isn't going to be a min max scenario this is very much going to be me just laying things out because I like the, the layout and the way it looks I've started getting the gamma root. Obviously, the gamma root is going. To, this is going to be a predominantly gamma root floor because I think to actually produce the number of living glass, I can't remember what it is offhand now. I'm, I'm going to need. I think it's. I had four domes. So what's that? That's about 80 gamma root. Now, as I say, these planters aren't the most efficient way to lay things out. If I come up another floor here you will see I've got these rows here if, if I show you this row of fours I've got four eight twelve sixteen twenty so this is the equivalent of one hemisphere and these obviously take up probably nearly as much or more space than actually the hemisphere and what I will do well, I'm just gonna hear guys just to finish this off uh, yeah it's just this corner here I've got left to do from the perspective of actually I think once I've done this corner so just come here and the cuboid room and I think there's ah I need one more I got one oh no that actually comes in so that is actually about right so if I actually some iron to fill this I need one more ah, just to finish that off guys but I'll do that off camera and the other thing I've also done is up here is I've created a kind of rooftop observation room which covers up if you follow the series you'll be aware that I here I had a big hole caused by the circular room or cylinder room underneath so I've now got a rooftop garden I also want to show you something as well guys that I've actually picked up on that you come here and I can't, you can't plant these outside, but if I show here, you can put terminals and stuff like that out. Also, if I come here, can't put, you can put buildings like this on the roof. So, so I could do something like that on the roof here. 
so we can have a rooftop building like that and and if I wanted to go up with a tower actually that looks quite cool actually quite like that actually <laughs> yeah so you can actually have something like this on the roof as well and as I say if you put a cylindrical one out you could actually wow can you put a cylinder on the that, now I'm being stupid aren't I we could actually build something like this I mean it looks pretty awful actually uh, sorry I'm, I'm, I'm getting distracted here guys it's just I just want to try something out I mean if it t looks terrible feel free to add a comment because I'm probably getting a bit stupid here guys we can come in here uh, back one uh, rotate it sort of Then I could put a hemisphere on the top. <laughs> or is that does that look absolutely stupid? This let's have a look, guys. I mean, what do you think? Uh, have a quick look in photo mode. Does that look okay? Opinions in comments, guys. Do you think I'm getting a bit over the top? Or actually, I don't know. It gives it a certain character to to the the base i suppose so it's almost like it's almost like it's got a bridge it's almost like a ship that's landed isn't it okay i might live with that as i say feel free to add a comment if you think i'm getting a bit maybe if i glaze it in a bit and put some glass on it so it looks there and maybe we could have a hemisphere on the top um yeah you can see the one missing block there yeah i don't know space base lighthouse anyway I'm getting distracted guys back to the what we meant to be doing and we better get back to the portal no. I'm just gonna walk base of course my welcome her here to the crystal palace because that is the name of the base so let's just get this in here so hopefully I'll be able to put in the correct portal address I'm just going to activate the portal and what do we want? We want there something that looks a bit like ah, that's that, isn't it? So we need that, we need that, we need something that looks like a whale. I think that's it there. And that again, and that, isn't it? Okay, this is where I embarrass myself by messing up the uh what's the next one it's this it looks like a butterfly and what have we got here I said I think it's this and a couple of these oops I think I just put the wrong one in okay I think I've messed this up guys well anyway we'll go through and just see See where we go. Okay, it's opened. I suppose maybe what, what I might do is that now I've got a nice active portal. I think what we might do is a bit of random exploration with portals actually, just for the fun of it, guys. Well, this isn't the. the just a, Right, I've messed this up. Okay, guys. What on earth? I'm in trouble. Um... Um, I don't seem to have a portal. I've been thrown into the outer darkness. Okay, go. And right, I think I'm gonna have to reload here, guys. <laughs> I've. 
I've been thrown out into the out of darkness. Okay, guys. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to reload here because... Where am I? I've got no... There's no portals around here or anything. Okay, guys. I'm back in my base. Uh, what we're going to do is give that another go. Um, all my building I've obviously been doing is lost. Never mind, that wasn't that much anyway. So a few cubes. So we're going to walk across and give that another go, guys. Yeah, that was really, really weird. Yeah, I mean, the ultimate survival challenge. Can you? I mean, I don't know how that would work actually, because you wouldn't have a ship. And I was on an extreme planet. And, I mean, I don't think you'd be even be able to summon a ship, so how could you actually survive on that planet? I mean, you could try and summon the freighter, I suppose, but then how would you get up to the freighter to get to your ship unless you use the mod where you could fly up? Okay, I'm going to try again just to see what on earth is going on. And this time maybe I'll be a bit more careful with the coordinates so activate portal so, right we're going to start with it's definitely that creature uh, got uh, right let's just put these in those uh, my squiggly bad writing got the fish that uh, that that's the f so the first six are okay. Got that one, that one. The butterfly. Um, I think that is that. Then we got uh, one. Right. Ah, so transport error location corrupted. That sounds a bit more like it. Okay. Obviously, I'm very good at selecting corrupted planets. So, what on earth did I put in in that last part? Right, here we go, guys. We're going to go through again. Okay, guys. Welcome back. And what actually happened is... I crashed going through the portal so what I'm going to do is give it a go for a third time but I'm not going to walk, treat you guys to walking across to there in fact what I'm going to do is we're going to use the ship just in case so that I don't have to keep walking backwards and forwards we got loads and loads of plutonium I know it's a waste but it doesn't really make that much difference so you can see I can now take off you know uh, charge this up we're gonna fly to the portal this time and it means I can drop a save right next to it so if we crash again oops I, I can just jump straight in it right, so we've now got a save game next to the portal uh, I was collect the frost warts and I'm looking straight at them right guys here we go again Activate portal. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to put the dino creature in. Ah, uh, where is it? It's that one. That one. It's that one. That one. It's right. Ah, uh, so that's the first six are good that one there that there we got the spider and we got that and that right. atlas transport error location corrupted approximating destination okay here we go again guys let's see what happens this time if it crashes this time I will quietly concede defeat and 
maybe we'll just go look for somewhere else maybe it just doesn't like the planetary location so here we go again guys and it worked that time so we're on a system with five planets one moon and we've actually come out in the right location so what we're going to do is we're going to put the auto miner out i should have enough resources i'll be oh, okay. i'm going to make some voltaic cells and it's done the ship again starship out of range uh, I've got no idea what the heck is going on here. Right, I'm just going to make... Uh, it worked before. I wonder if that's because I actually crashed. Okay. Uh, okay, let's just build this. Um. Okay. Uh, that there hopefully this will be sulfurine yes thank you right I mean I've got no freighter here is it because my freighters now in low earth orbit or planetary orbit okay it did work go back through okay guys uh, so much for all my theories it did work when I was testing it it, I, it didn't sum that wonder if it's because my freighter was in the system so it still thinks my freighter is in the system ah of course I didn't summon my freighter today uh, cobblers my freight because I crashed yes yes I fail there guys yeah, because because I came in on the landing point, and my freighter is still actually in the. Okay. Yes, that explains it right. And what we're going to do is just to just to prove to you guys that it can be done. This is annoying me really, really considerably. Yeah, I think. So what we're going to do is we're going to... We haven't got a lot of thrusters, but we've got plenty of plutonium, so... Right, what we're going to do is we're going to take off in this craft. And we're going to... Yeah, I messed that up completely because the, the game crash... Yeah. Right, let's just... Uh, what a mess. What a mess. Freighter in here, and there's the silver Mustang. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to jump in the silver Mustang. I'm going to drop a save. Ah. Famous top tip, another top tip, guys. If you're going to mess around with portals. Uh, save and save regularly and what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the portal I'm determined to prove to you guys that what I was doing was correct and it was it is the presence of the freighter in the system that causes the problem what we're going to do is we're going to fly to the portal so I'll see you once I get there guys actual base there actually training station base actually sorry about this guys we're just gonna check this out sorry for the deviation I think I'm kind of a bit inclined to I like the idea of having a trading station really close to my base I'm just gonna go in here Pinky uh, little. Let's look at the uh, buy items. Got some car light sheets. This is what I was saying, guys. They've got car light sheets and close by. 
Uh, certainly want maximum number of iron. That could be quite useful. And I'm certainly going to get the maximum number of zinc because I've gone through a heck of a lot of zinc. Actually, I can pick up maximum of all this actually. Uh, I, I don't think I actually. I'm going to grab the thamium as well because I need a lot of thamium to put the plants out. Actually, I think I'm going to mark this base. Ah. Get the stock transfer. And of course we're going to need the nanites because I actually used all my nanites up. I'll come back and check this base. Thing. So what we're going to do is going to put a beacon here. I can always find this base if I need it. Ah. I'll probably color, I'll come back and color code it. Uh, suspension fluid here. Yeah, well. okay. Right, so yeah, that's pretty close. All right, it's 19 seconds by ship, but that could be a quite a useful uh, place to operate from. Right here we are, guys. We're back at the portal. Gonna land again. Uh, jump out and we're just going to drop the portal address back in again and right right activate portal and let's get into uh, that's better write these symbols out properly I've, I've, I've kind of scribbled them out guys so they're not as clear as they should be right, so I could probably end up going in strange places but I think I might do a bit of random portal exploration maybe uh, in a part just for the fun of it guys right. Right. Atlas transport error location corrupted right that's it Just going to go through. Just make sure it works and we don't crash. I've got a save game now because I've come here by ship. And in theory, now if I come here, my starship is still the Silver Mustang, but it says starship out of range, which is obvious because the freighter's not here. The ship didn't change. So that proves that beyond all doubt, guys. I think I'm being a bit optimistic here. Yeah, that's got a long way to go, but I've finally managed to get my sulfurine uh, mining up and running. Okay, hello guys, we're just wait. Can you stand still? We've got seven out of twelve creatures. This isn't exactly the most friendly of planets, and I think what we're going to do now, guys, is just go back. And I think this is where I'm going to wind this part up. Uh, here we are back and it looks like where I've been messing around so much the uh, frost crystals have grown up again because of course they're on a 15 minute cycle right guys I think this is where I'm going to wind up the video I think one close scrape with space combat coupled with actually uh, almost certain death in a random teleporter accident is enough for one part so this is where I'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting well, I say, guys, any comments, opinions, I mean, has that ever happened to you? Where you've gone through a portal and there's nothing on the other side? Uh, feel free to add a comment. I mean, if you think you know what actually caused it, feel free to add a comment. And, of course, the changes to the base, which are no longer there, because I crashed, because um, I had to reload. Feel free to comment about that. If you see, if you look across on the top of the base now my little turret i built is isn't there i will put it back guys so this is where i'm gonna leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming <laughs>